It's Michaela with your everyday woman. So another week or another month, uh, another more makeup purchases. Um, I mostly got lip products this month, but um, yeah, so with that let's just hop right into the video. Let's go ahead and start off with lip products this month. Um, I did get this lip pencil from NYX. I got mine in the shade. Um, let me see what's the shade. I know there's a shade name on here. Um, Hot Red. Uh, so I went ahead and got this. I mean, and it performs as a lip liner should. I mean, there was nothing really special about it. But, I mean, it, it does the job that it needs to do for a lip liner. Uh, but I actually bought that lip liner to go ahead and go along with my Fenty... Uh, it's um, the Stuna Lip Paint. So... Um, and I'll go ahead and this is in the shade uncent uncensored. Um, let me tell you something. It is bold, very bold. Um, unfortunately, it is tricky to be able to put on. I would recommend using a lip pencil. Also, if you are a beginner when it comes to makeup and lipstick, I would not recommend this. It is difficult to use. Um, so it just it kind of takes some practice. However, it does have a nice a velvet finish a velvety matte finished uh, does go on um, take your time when using this use a lip pencil don't go straight from the uh, doe foot applicator applicator to your lips uh, you will get it everywhere use your time with use a lip pencil um, but definitely yeah it's it does bleed easy so you definitely need a lip liner with it uh, this one was a little bit too light but I was able to make it work but just line your lips very thoroughly because it does bleed. Um, but it does last all day. There is minimal transfer on it. I mean, it does transfer, but it's not bad. It's not drying on the lips, which for me, I was like, for a velvet lips, lipstick, I would, you know, would think that it would be really drying to the lips with my dry lips. Honestly, it's not bad at all. So I just, I wouldn't recommend this if you're a beginner, but if you are learning and trying to learn the skill of it, uh, it definitely would be a good one to try. Um, but overall, probably not my favorite as far as lip products go. Um, another lipstick I got is the uh, ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I have mine in the shade Topanga. I'm going to watch it right here for you. Uh, it is a pretty lipstick. It does last all day. However, it is very drying on the lips. Um, but it's long lasting even through eating and stuff like that it still lasts very well and I don't really have to do a lot of touch ups with this. Um, but yeah, it's just my biggest thing is make sure your lips are well moisturized. Use a lip scrub, use chapstick before using this, but overall I did like this. This is the first lippy six that I have bought from ColourPop. One more lip item. I bought this LA Girl lip pencil in the shade uh, it's in the shade Nude. Uh, and with, as with any LA Girl products, let me see, I don't know if the swatch will show it because it's very nude. Um, but I did buy it to go along with some of my more nude lipsticks. Yeah. Uh, because it's so sharp and this is very common among LA Girl um, pencils, but it is hard to put on. However, it lasts all day. It works well. It works like any other lip liner. It's just you might want to warm it up on your hand before you put it on or melted a little bit before you do put that on so it was a little bit hard. Um, moving on to eyeliners. I bought this uh, Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in the shade Goldmine. Um, I bought this to go along with my Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. I do really like this. Uh, let's see if it'll go on. I do really like this. You do need to build the color up a little bit to get it to pop but overall I definitely enjoyed this. Um, but yeah, it glides on easy. It works as I would expect an Urban Decay eyeliner to work. I, I do really like this. I do like that formula, that's for sure. Then another thing I bought from, I think this is Revolution Pro. I bought their Eye Glisten. Bought it because I thought it was pretty. Um, I've got mine in the shade. Where's the shade name? Uh, let's see. It, the shade, it's Fate. I've got the more well, more metallic side right here and then I've got the shimmery shot side right here 
And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this I, it looks pretty swatched, which is why I bought it. It's horrible. It oxidizes within like a minute of putting it on. It doesn't stay, I mean the glittery side isn't as bad as the metallic side, however, and I'm probably gonna end up giving this one to Bella because I just, I don't want it in my makeup collection. I hate it. I mean, it's cheap and it looks cheap and it feels cheap. It's not any kind of good quality at all. Honestly, I hate this. I, I thoroughly, this is not something I'm gonna be keeping in my collection at all. I'll probably just put it in Bella's stocking stuff for this year because it's only been used like one time. So yeah, um, yeah baby. With that, uh, that was all of my makeup purchases for the month of October, but stay tuned because I did buy the Pure X Barbie eyeshadow palette that I will be um, using later this month, or that I will be reviewing here in the next couple weeks. So that, thank you for watching this video. Love it if you stuck around to my channel. I do videos on beauty, lifestyle, fashion, and motherhood. Thank you for watching, God bless, and bye guys.